not have a 12 sons but all the same person. He had, he had four wives. Actually, he had one wife by a certificate. And then he had another wife by a honeymoon. They got their oil and a cruise. Because cause Rachel married uh, jo uh, Jacob that morning, but then Leah got to go on a cruise with him. Somewhere along the line, he picked up. The, 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 the handmaidens and made them you, We want to say wise, but they were really hard lots That's the way he treated them He said to yourself Let's hear what here's, here's, here's how it goes We see how you really, what you really think of them And when you're dying on your deathbed We see what you really think of them He said, Ruben, I can't stand you Because I slept with one of my concubines One of your concubines When did Rachel's handmaiden become your concubine? Basically saying My, my, my real wife, right? I didn't treat her right, but my real wife of life, I, 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 that I want to give my life to, right? She had a handmaiden that I, I, we were blessed with, and we got the blessing of the handmaiden, but after, oh, oh, over time, when you bless somebody with somebody else, that ain't nothing but slavery in everybody's mind. They can quickly become your concubine, and when a Jacob couldn't go into Rachel or Leah, probably because they were fighting over him, they went, he went into Phil Hop, and Silva, he had options, and not the good kind, uh, he had options. I don't want an option, it was like stock, the stock options. Uh, the problem I have with that is that you cannot settle in any given situation, right? For the husband, you cannot settle for a wife because here's what happens. You cannot settle because when you do, they will always pull in their options. We got an argument, but I really wanted to be with somebody. I'm gonna get an option. You become an option. Whether we want to admit it or not, I don't know what Leah and Zilpa and Bill Howe ever planned for their lives or what they ever saw, what they ever saw when they looked at the vision board. And we turned, we dressed like a, a bride and we tie uh, things to our dresses and we, we play like we are wives. And so we dress up like, a, will you marry me? Oh, yes. And Barbie kisses Ken. Stop that you never planned on Ken using you as an option. <laughs> he married me, put the ring on me, and they called me an option. No matter how, what that means is that he did, he put the ring on one woman, Rachel, and he branded the other three. I can't imagine what that feels like. They were holding him over each other's head the entire time. What I love about Leah is that she she actually ended up finally learning. Give a lesson. She gave up. Oh God! Or Jacob being a benefactor and a giver of her blessings. See, 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 I, I love it because I said it. I said she had how many kids? She had seven. She had the most out of everybody. Six and one. Why don't we ever hear about the one? That's her, that was 13 kids. She had 12 sons. 13 kids. She had a daughter named Dina. Right? Why don't we hear about her? Why don't we hear about you? Do Gad and Asher know about you? What do we hear about you? I wonder because they went in and he killed the men of Shechem, right? Because they wanted to get them back. The men of Shechem, uh, the, 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 well, I think his name is Hamer or something like that. He raped Zena and then he wanted to, uh, he said, whatever we want have to do, I want her as my wife. Whatever I gotta do, I will buy her, I will, I will give her, I will take care of her. And they meant it. They were gonna give her what they thought was good life after to make up what they did. And not only to make up for it, he loved her. The Bible says he loved her with all of his heart. But the sons of Jacob went in. Jacob didn't hold anything over their heads. He didn't tell them, okay, this is the contract, you must do this. The sons went in and said, circumcise yourselves. For us, when we don't know well, which, which one is up, right? We find, I find that even in a body of Christ, every guy, everybody has their own version of Christianity. What does it mean to be a Christian? Now, I say it means that I believe that Jesus Christ is the only true, infallible Son of God. I am a son of God, just like the angels are sons of God. But the angels are made just a little bit higher than I am. And Jesus is the only one that, walked, that has walked the earth that the Lord higher than they. I am a Christian because Jesus is known as Jesus Christ. But I find that it's the, the I find
find that due to our ever-prevailing ignorancy of knowledge based on who Jesus Christ really is and what he has done for us, we are all walking ignorances. Because Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and we are heirs and joint heirs, and I am a son of God. Yes, the Bible calls us a sons of God. I am a sons, and so and S. I play around the plural of it, but if the word said it, I will, I'm gonna quote it to you, and I call myself a sons, just like the Bible says the angels are sons of God. And wait, 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 check this out. So is the demon. That's why you easily fool. coming together and studying the word together and having Bible study but who slipped in among you who slipped in among you who are you and what are those those aren't even shoes where did Dina come from oh, not Dina yes Dina he had a daughter just like David you only about I believe he had more than one daughter but David you'll hear about tomorrow reason you hear about Dina? Same exact thing happened except uh, 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 Tamar was raped by David's own son. Dina was raped by men that uh, that were looking at her. But here's the thing. And T.D. Jake said it and I didn't want to say it. T.D. Jake said it. I didn't want to say it. Every time I've been caught out there where the enemy was able to do some sort of sexual sin to me. And this is not the case in every situation. But look at your situation and ask yourself uh, somebody were not was not where they were supposed to be. Sexual sins happen to people, right? When they did not ask, I did not ask for this thing. If you have somebody that walks around saying, I did not ask for this thing, generally somebody is outside of where they were supposed to be. When you, your parents told you, they told you dress like you're 11 years old. You want to switch clothes, take them out your book bag, and act like you're 14 when you get to school. Where were you? I'll tell you where you were at. You were inside of 14 when you're supposed to be inside of 10. You were inside of 15 when you're supposed to be inside of 9. You were inside of 12 when you're supposed to be inside of 4. And because of that, you're being tracked, picked up back and forth. Is it the fault of the person that it's happening to? No. But where were you? There's some questions that need to be asked. It took me a while to admit to it. Things have happened to me. But each time I had to ask myself, where was I? Not who was I? Not who did it? But what was I doing? Where was I? I know you guys know that so I say I was inside of an age. She was inside of an age. You're inside of a line. You're inside of a place. You could be in a place and inside of a time, right? That's why God didn't ask. God was to ask Adam what he was doing. God already knew what he was doing and what he had done. Jesus said, where are you, Adam? They thinking Adam would get into where are you inside your mind? I put you to have the mind. Have a mind that is like mine. Whose mind are you operating inside of? And where have what have you done with your mind? Where is it? Where are you and why are you not in the right mind? I, 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 I can imagine that, huh? they, when they talk about people being crazy, they say people are in, you're not in the right mindset, in the right frame of mind, right? Uh, where are you inside of that mindset? God put you set to have a mind, but you've chosen to walk inside of someone else's mindset. That's why I can't get with my landlord when she brings me anxiety. It's not just her, that's why I use the example for y'all. The enemy brings these things to you other people generally you are gorgeous you are a wonderful child of god it's easy for you to recognize when the enemy comes to you and to bring something to you like a letter and then there's a bill collector and you know exactly where to file that thing and this is okay i gotta be in the right frame of mind to read it but when somebody comes to you and rings your phone and says okay everybody done died and i alone and the only one only one left to tell you about it and every time you hang up you picked up and someone else is on the phone with somebody bringing you back how do I control bad news coming in? You don't. But here's the thing. I was sitting in the bed this morning. And I was listening to my track from last night that I put together last night. And I was actually feeling it. It's a track that I did not like last night. But I got up this morning. I was feeling it. I think Holy Spirit just did for me. But anyway, that's why I liked it. But anyway, here's the thing. I actually told God. I said, you know what, God? I said, I'm not upset. I'm not, I'm not I'm feeling the upset. I'm not feeling the upset feelings that I think that I should feel about having to deal with this landlord situation. And I thank you for it, God. I'm not stressed out about it. Why? Because I thank you that I came to you and you taught me about how to deal with anxiety and how to recognize the enemy in other people. But not only that, you taught me how to not walk with that cat, how to not walk inside of somebody else's story. Are we 
hear about people get trafficked? It's always they're, they're approached by one person, but trafficked by another. How do you end up inside someone else's story? You're led away. Why weren't you following the way the truth and the light? You were led away. I don't care what happens, how it happens. Generally, it's the 2,000, uh, uh, 20 to 5,000, 200 years, whatever, the way, wherever we add it. Ain't nobody coming up behind nobody like they do, like, like they did back in the 70s. And grab them, put their hands over their mouth, and grabbing them, and dragging them inside a car, throwing them in a car, and running over to the other side of the car, and starting to drive, right? Because here's the thing, everybody's been equipped with a cell phone. So bye! I could dial 911 easily. Everybody's got a locator on their kids' backpack. So anybody stealing nobody like that. So if you're getting picked up, I gotta ask you like the police would ask you. So see me as Sherlock Holmes. See me as a, a, a Mac Block. See me as Perry Mason. See me as Angela Lansbury if you need to. I'm gonna ask you, my mama. Where were you? And uh, what are those? Those ain't even shoes. My God, what are you wearing? What's, what's your hat on? That's a where are you question.